Hi everybody, happy November 2023 from the Lawrenceburg Public Library and 7th Street Gifts. A big thanks to the Lawrenceburg Public Library and the Friends Of for sponsoring the Year of Tea and to you for expressing interest, registering for the program and coming in and picking up your tea kits. I'm Carissa Hundbutton with 7th Street Gifts, a little tiny family brick and mortar apothecary shop in downtown Newport. We're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, noon to five. I'm in there, so if you wanna come up to the city and catch up and um, enjoy the area, there's the aquarium, the levee, of course, our shop, all sorts of things. Head on up and do your holiday shopping with us this year. For the month of November, this is like the, the quintessential fall tea. We chose turmeric chai tea. And it not only is the same color as the outside right now, all of the leaves and the changing color with that really warming fall gold and rich hues, it's a really spice rich blend and it has a robust and woodsy flavor. So it really tastes a lot like the season, sort of like our smoked tea did previously when we thought it was kind of getting to be campfire weather. Um, it's a blend, so there's a lot of things in it other than just our plain black tea. And remember how we said the year of tea. Every single time I'm going to talk about Camilla sinensis, which is the shrub-like plant or bush that gives us all forms of true tea. So our black tea comes from Camilla sinensis, and there's that in there with all sorts of other things, but it's cut and sifted. And we know from our previous lessons that it's been treated very much so by man. So it was smoked and oftentimes skillet um, prepared and fried, cut and sifted, and then blended again. So black tea is strong in caffeine, strong in flavor. So that's where your robust and woody flavor comes from. Very similar to coffee as far as like strength and its stimulant capacity. And again, that is the tea that's in our blend of the turmeric chai for the fall um, that comes from our Camilla sinensis. So blended in with our black tea, we have our warming cinnamon, which is such an epitome um, of fall and the flavor, the scent, ginger, and clove. And these kind of surround that earthy turmeric and black pepper flavor because a lot of us who are familiar with turmeric know that it comes from an actual root and it's usually ground or cut and sifted for us to eat it or consume. And so it would make sense that it tastes earthy because it is an earthy root plucked from the ground. It grew in the dirt. Um, and the black pepper kind of gives it a warmth too. So this is also a tea that like you come in from a cold day or you hold in your hand and drink or you're like waiting in line. You could make it to go for like a, an outdoor, I don't know, nativity or something like that. It'll actually raise your body temperature and give you a true warming ability, kind of like if you ate like a red pepper or a hot sauce or something like that. Since these spices are a little bit stronger and need less of, there are hints of, but they are included, is the cardamom, which are those cool pods, anise, those pretty stars, and fennel seed. And fennel is known as a really good anti-gas or anti-bloating. So this is also a really good uh, tea to follow up after super rich meals or kind of overeating, which this sort of time of year lends itself to, which is what's fun about it. Um, but it will help you kind of like settle your stomach and relieve that bloating and help your food digest. So it's perfect for warming, not only its color, but its properties. All of these spices are meant to raise the body temperature and circulation and kind of warm your extremities up. And of course you serve it hot as well. And then there's a lot of health benefits in all of these herbs and spices, but specifically the turmeric, which we've heard so much about. It has the circumin or circumin in it, which is what makes it that bright, bright yellowy gold and kind of makes it sticky. If you ever get turmeric powder cut and sifted or ground, you want it to be kind of sticky and clump. Um, you don't want it to be dry and sawdusty because the stickier and clumpier it, it tends to be means the higher of the circumin, circumin that's in the quality of the turmeric. And that's what you want. So it's not a fault of it. Sometimes it might seem like it's um, not good, but that's actually a sign of it being a higher, better quality than like a dry, powdery turmeric. And then I bet this is not the first time any of us have heard this, but just to reiterate, when turmeric is paired with black pepper, it allows for a better and easier absorption into the body, cellularly and in your bloodstream. I'm not ex exactly sure why, but they've done loads and loads of research on it for like anti-inflammatory and bone and joint health. 
and they determine that when you pair black pepper with your turmeric and have them together at the same time, even if it's blended in with other things, it helps the absorption and the health properties of the turmeric um, be more effective and stronger. So to get to the nitty gritty exactly what is going to be in your little pouch, in your bag, and you're definitely going to want to use your muslin tea bag this, um, this month, is organic, everything is organic, and everything is certified fair trade. So instead of writing it over and over and over again, I wanted to let you know. Also, all the herbs and spices and teas that we get from Frontier, and this um, includes all of your previous months of teas, are non-irritated. And um, if that matters to you, and if you know what that is, then it would matter to you, um, none of these have been irritated. So our ingredients are cinnamon, so that's the very first thing in this. So we're going from the most to the least as far as quantity in your blend. Turmeric, and this is a powdered turmeric. Black tea, and remember this is our Camilla sinensis, so this is what makes it the year of the tea and our true tea and not a tisane or an um, infusion. Fennel, and we talked about that, how it helps with bloating and gas and settling rich, heavy meals. Ginger, we all know, is also good for settling a tummy, helping with anti-inflammatory, bringing good flavor and warming. Anise, and this is where we get our black licorice flavor, but don't let that dissuade you because a little bit blended in with these other um, spices and teas kind of take on a new flavor for it. So even if you're not an anise seed or anise star flower or black licorice fan, still try this because it's not an overpowering flavor. Cardamom, cloves, and then finally black pepper. And this is a fine powdery blend because there are so many ingredients in it. They've cut and sifted and powdered everything and really mixed it and blended it really, really well. So it's more um, like a grainy, to a fine powdery texture or more like a coffee ground. So you would definitely want to use your muslin tea bag that's included in your kit or a tea ball or tea strainer that you already have at home. You'll want your finest um, sieve or, or strain or the bag is the best because it, it does such a good job of sifting out particles because this is such a fine powdery blend that without um, a use of a tool, it would be too grainy and textury, I think, in the water and it wouldn't settle well enough to give you like a good drinking experience. experience. I think it would be a little grainy or gritty and, and would take away from the flavor blend. This is an incredibly potent and strong blend, which you can tell just from the list of ingredients. These are all really strong, bold flavors. And so you only need one teaspoon. And I know other things we've talked about whole tablespoons before, mainly too because they're looser, looser fluffier leaves. This is a really dense and, and compact and concentrated flavor and powder. So you only need one teaspoon to eight ounces and of near boiling water. You don't need to bring this to a full rolling boil. Um, now if you do, it's okay. But for the optimum flavor and the optimum benefit from the black pepper and turmeric combined for your um, body to be able to absorb it, you need almost a rolling boil temperature, but not quite a rolling boil. And then a three to five minute steep time. I think that's generous. I would maybe even go to a two to three, five minute a steep time um, because it is such a strong it looks Denise did a great job it'll look just like this just like the cup that's on this poster um, and it takes milk and cream and sweeteners really well purely because it is such a strong and intense and robust flavor that if you do want to add a sweetener or a cream or a flavoring to it this is a really good choice for that so in conclusion for the month of November the 11th month of the year of tea we chose tumor chai it's a spice-rich blend with a robust woody, woodsy flavor. Uh, the black tea that's blended in it is our Camilla sinensis. It's very warming. It has a lot of health benefits. It is a very potent and strong flavor, so keep that in mind. Be sure to use your correct ratio and feel free to add milk or other things to it to bring it up to a palatable flavor for you. So thanks a lot. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Eat too much turkey and then drink a big cup of this afterward. Have a good one.